Shobhit Agarwal is a working professional residing in Delhi. Two years ago, Shobhit began taking protein and vitamin supplements that promised to improve his athletic performance. But he soon began feeling fatigued and noticed that the whites of his eyes had turned yellow. I was taking weight gainers actually and I was uh, diagnosed with a disease which is called gastrophageal reflux disorder. Uh, this is also called LES weekend. So in which uh, what actually happened, the acid which is in your stomach uh, comes out uh, through the esophagus and it, you will feel like uh, nausea every time. At all time you will feel nausea and I asked from my doctor, uh, so he, will, he told me that it is due to supplements. So I stopped taking it at that time and I was at that time 65 kg and now I am only 58 kg due to supplements. Studies suggest that more than 70% of these fitness supplements sold in Indian markets are fake. Despite that, often these supplements are bought by people following a recommendation by either gym instructors or dietitians. First of all, a supplement is given to somebody and it has to be used as a supplement. You cannot substitute a supplement for diet. And people who, you know, and obviously the misconception in, in the public is because there are certain people who have abused steroids and protein actually gets the bad name. You know, so somebody has taken steroid, he's done, he's done some overdose of steroids, he's kind of died and people would blame protein supplements for that particular death, which is actually wrong because protein is something that is a building block of your body. Any growth and repair in your body needs to be done by a protein. Dietary supplements come in many forms like tablets, capsules, soft gels, gel caps, liquids and powders. These products are readily available for consumers through chemist stores and online platforms. Doctors tell that these indiscriminate consumption of supplements without prescription can be extremely harmful. It can lead to diseases related to heart, kidney and other serious problems. The negatives of these supplements is that when, uh, when you are taking uh, them for the longer time, it may lead to deterioration in your kidney or may affect your liver also. And if a person is uh, taking any supplement, it may reduce your sodium level. So uh, it may also lead to improper functioning of your body. Rising purchasing power among Indians has led to people becoming more health conscious, with many adopting healthy diet routines that are complemented with nutritional supplements. But it is more important that people realize that uncertified supplements can have dangerous side effects. I all the time feel low and anxiety issues there and nausea is still there. These kind of problems I am facing is still. Like in the gyms or anywhere, if a person is constantly rec uh, uh, recommending you to take any supplement, maybe they have the target to sell that amount of protein. So that is a market criteria that we should not go follow that. Taking note of some of these concerns, in 2016, the Food Safety and Standards Authority of India issued new rules for functional foods and supplements. Perhaps with these coming into force starting January 2018, the Indian consumer will be able to verify a product before adopting it. Nagain Singh, Beyond.